Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with Let's Play Resonance of Fate on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we did more arena stuff. Today, more arena stuff. Yay, it'll end eventually, just, well, not today. Huh. Hey, rank 40. Oh, I thought we were uh, 39 still. No? Okay, well, I guess we're at rank 40. I thought we were... Yeah, I thought we had one more rank, uh... I thought... I thought... That must be why I kept freaking selecting rank 38 when I was trying to get through those four rounds of rank 39. So I, I did that like three times and... Yeah, kind of... Yeah, oh well. Anyways, rank 40. Feel free not to be those damn mines. I don't mind the soldiers. I don't mind the... The spider mobiles, but the mines, the mine tanks or whatever, they just kind of suck because, you know, they don't have a whole lot going on them. Okay, so we got Lyrical Hermit, Black Gear... Hermits. Okay, how many, uh, okay, three Hermits and one Black Gear. Okay, so Vash, we're going to go ahead and let you, yeah, hey, we'll just go with regular because I want uh, Leanne to do some stuff here. Um, because Leanne, for some reason, has the least amount of experience. Oh, you guys have a pretty fair amount of HP. Or defense or something, I'm not sure. It, did he actually attack his enemy, or his ally right there? It looked like uh, he did a machine gun and actually hit that guy right there, but I can't tell. Okay, uh, you. We're gonna go this way. It might not, it might have been I just did it to do a full charge, and that was just not very strong, I guess. Ashron, you're getting another level. Fantastic. Okay, so the Hermits are just about dead as soon as I get my turn. The Spider Bro, Black uh, Gear, or whatever you are, you are not so dead. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and go with some grenades. What do I have equipped? The Molotov Cocktails, let's go with the Hand Grenade Pluses right now. That should be fine. By the way, um, whenever Zephyr has a machine gun equipped, he says, not really my type of weapon. So, all three types of weapons in the game are not his type of weapon. So, what the frick is your type of weapon, dude? Because I have no freaking idea. At all. And I really wish we could find a way to get the grenades to go faster, but... Oh, well. Uh, Leanne, I'm going to go ahead and let you get your turn. Just for experiencing purposes. So another easy fight, uh, much easier than the last one, since the last one had, what is it, the the tank or whatever. Uh, Zephyr, let's go ahead and clear out that scratch damage there. I feel like, I feel like Leanne did a faster job on the grenades than Zephyr is doing for some reason. I, I might just be imagining it, but I feel like she charged her grenades faster somehow. Your guys' little, like, kneecap armor or whatever it is, is a real pain in the ass to actually attack. But luckily, I don't think it's really too much to worry about. You want to die there, dude? No? There you go, that's what I like to see. Okay, we have our grenades up to, like, what, 24 on everybody? But because they charge so slow, it just doesn't ever actually get to a higher speed. I wonder if charge acceleration and charge speed on your gun count towards... Count towards your... Your grenades. Huh. Or I wonder if different... I wonder if different, uh, grenades have different charge speeds. They do! Okay. I, I'm i a moron because I never actually figured that out until just freaking now. So, okay, looks like they go up to... Okay, the Molotov Cocktails are reasonably slow. 60 and 10 for the plus pluses. Whereas the hand grenades are... No, okay, they're the same thing. I thought they were faster. Okay. So, it seems like, seems like there's a set level for each one. So, 20... For the first tier, 40 and 5. For the second, 
60 and 10 for the plus pluses and 120 for the EXs. Okay, so the stronger grenades do activate faster. Okay, that makes decent sense, which means I should say screw you hand grenade plus pluses, and, or pluses, I'm sorry, and just go with the hand grenade plus pluses since I have more of them and they charge faster. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. We're going to do one more fight on these guys on screen since we're, it's only like this fight and then the next one's going to be the, the boss or whatever, so we'll just do these real fast. Plus, I'm curious to see how much faster the grenades are going to be. Probably not much faster, but a little bit. Huh. It's nice to know that if I actually look at something, I find something out. All right, let's see if we can't get both of you guys on the first turn. Not at once. It'd be nice if we could get them at once, but it's just not going to happen. And you're almost caught up to everyone else. How are you going to target the guys way the fuck on the other side of the screen instead of the guy right fucking next to you? I really, really, really wish there was a better targeting system in this game because it's kind of fucking moronic the way it is right now. Especially since you get penalized so heavily for switching to a new target. They should really make it a much easier way to just actually switch to a new target since when you get to the new target you're penalized on your you're, you're penalized from that first uh, shot right there because it's so much slower than the if you just stayed on the same target All right, let's see if we can get a couple on this guy one two yeah we're getting a few yeah why not Good enough for me. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. See if we can't get your armor there. Hey, full scratch. Perfect. That worked out pretty good. Oh, these guys give uh, straight blue hexes too. Very nice. Uh, Zephyr, go for it. That should have killed you, but apparently not. I feel like the grenades sometimes just don't do the damage they're supposed to. I don't know why, they just sometimes say, hey, I don't feel like actually, you know, doing the damage. Not bad for a job. I mean, I could just be misinterpreting something here, but... It's like a 50% chance if they're actually going to work or not. Anyways, let's see what the mini-boss here is. And after this, I think we only have, like, a few more rounds for this, yeah, this particular section, so this will probably be the last arena section for a little while here. I think after this, depending on how much time we have left in the video, we're going to go try that uh, red hex again, and then we'll go off to the main story. Okay, um, I see. Hurricane Panzer, Sturm Panzer, and Tornado Panzers. Let me actually look up and see if these guys drop anything, because that's actually something that I would probably care about here. Uh, let's see. Panzer. It seems like they actually drop a fair amount of scrapped Vulcan stuff. Let's see, or scrap stuff. Uh, let's see, they all drop scrap zinc. Let's see. Hurricane Panzer, you drop scrap Vulcan TK, scrap missile TK, scrap arm TK. Sturm, you gr you drop a uh, scrap zinc. Scrap Weapon TK and Scrap Brass. And the Tornado Panzer drops a Scrapped Missile and Scrapped Arm TK2s. Okay, depending on how easy it is to actually get this stuff. Well, let's see here. Um, let's use the Medical to Rounds real fast and try it on you. Okay, that works. Okay, you are not that tough, apparently. Either that or I'm getting really lucky here. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to you. Get your shields. I was kind of hoping it would just kind of magnetize the, the drops to me, but apparently not. I don't think I'm going to bother farming these guys, because I can farm the rest of this stuff in other areas and eh, 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain for some of them, but I don't think we're gonna waste the time this time. If it was like the other ones where it just automatically uh, drew everything towards you, I'd think about it, but now I'm feeling a little lazier. Yeah, we're getting a couple of them. So, reasonably easy mini boss. I like it. Uh, yeah, let's start with you. Yeah, you guys are nice and weak. Well, yeah, you didn't get a whole lot done this episode, or this fight, so. Tough. Zephyr, you're just leveling up like a freaking champion. And no, Zephyr does not have the experience thing on. Um, nobody does right now. They all have defensive stuff, but apparently Zephyr is just a fucking champion. And we're going to finally start earning gold coins. I wonder, can we change them in for gold coins now? Yes, we can. Um, I'm not going to do that right off the bat because we're going to earn a bunch of gold coins now but uh... very nice we're back for more punishment that's what he said okay so rank uh... forty one let's see what we got let's see if this is anything uh... to write home about or if it's just going to be more generic uh, human dudes miss termit miss termit two black gears and miss termit Okay, so let's go ahead with see how much armor these guys have. Oh, you guys don't have any armor. Okay, perfect. But apparently you're tough. If we get the full scratch, awesome. But apparently they take a lot of damage otherwise. Yeah, you guys have a pretty fair chunk of HP there. Uh, that kind of hurt. Uh, let's see, go back to you, let's go to hollow point round plus pluses, and see how well that does on that guy back in the back. Oh, okay, did a full scratch, which is nice, but, you know, I was trying to say before full scratch. Okay, well that certainly obliterates him. Well, these guys aren't doing too much damage, I guess. You, you, and there you go. Seems like a nice, easy fight. A lot of enemies, but they're all reasonably easy, I guess. That's fine by me. Uh, you, let's go ahead and none. Let's let uh, Leanne get some experience. Or you can just not do any damage. That's, that works too, I guess. I'm tempted, I'm tempted about switching over the ammo box to Leanne for a little while. That way she can use it to do a lot of uh, damage through shields and stuff. And maybe she'll get more experience. This experience is based on how much damage you actually inflict. Let's see if I can't break your shield. I broke your gauge. I don't think I broke any of your shield parts, though. Yeah. oh well. And, let's see what we can do here. We might be able to get in your little weak point there. Yeah, right there. Right in the ass cheeks. Well, as much as a robotic spider machine can have ass cheeks. And there we go. And we should get some scrap something or others, right? Yeah, scrap Gatling MSs. How many of those damn straight blue hexes? That, if I had known we were going to get them this easily from the arena, I wouldn't have farmed outside for however long I did. And I don't think the straight blue ones are going to be good for uh, terminal chains on 
the higher or the lower levels. I think they're primarily good on this middle level for the arena and stuff. Because on the on the levels higher up and down, there's a lot more curves, and some of the terminals are not in nice easy spots. So you got to use a uh, curve Texas to actually get to them. So 65, and I got plenty of these damn purple ones too. Okay, cool. Anyways, I'll take care of those guys, and I'll be right back. All right, took care of that, and I think we have enough gold coins now to buy our first item with gold coins. Uh, not this, because that needs 50, unfortunately, uh, but a long scope elite, that could be nice, and I think that's the main thing I'm after here. Yeah, long scope elite, cause, long scope elite, because it has all the extra attachment slots, so yeah, it's really nice there. Uh, let's go ahead and pick one of those bad boys up on our shopping list. Fantastic. And let's see, who gets that? I don't think you need it yet. On a different gun, you might, but not right now. Uh, let's see. I think you would actually make pretty good use of it. So let's do that. Uh, let's take off that. Let's take off that. Let's take off that. And let's go for the Long Scope Elite. Fantastic. And now, let's see. How should we put these on here? We can either put something like... Hmm. I thought I had some... Yeah, that'd be great. Just uh, get rid of some of the stuff on the bottom and put another top rail scope on there for even more insane firepower. I thought we had some, like, yeah, like little midget ones like that, but those aren't really all that great. I mean, they're okay, but they don't have that much uh, power going on them. Yeah, I think these right here, the compact scopes, will still be the best bet. Huh. Yeah, I think this will work. Let's do that. And then if we wanted to, we could put something like one of these little midget sights on there as well. But we could also do... Yeah, compact scope B. Put an A on there, see if that works. Yeah. And then another A. Look at that charger speed. Woo! 176 charge speed. Nice. Granted, the charge acceleration could be a little better, but I think we'll survive for the moment. Oh, wait, I forgot. Uh, one more thing before I forget. Uh, is it you or something else? Yeah, I think you. Ta-da! Look at that. 184 charge acceleration or charge speed. Yeah, that's nice. Anyways, round two of the golden opportunity here. And let's see if you guys are more iron spiders. Uli Kumi. Okay, I'm not sure what you guys are. Um, let's give it a shot. You guys look like you're hard-ish. So let's start off with that. Okay, you guys have two layers of armor. I hate you already. I mean, you guys might drop some good stuff, but I hate the two layers of armor because you cannot do a whole lot about it. Yeah, and the, the handgun may be good for breaking, like, the basic armors of, like, uh, human dudes, but it's not going to do jack shit to actual armor, um, like these guys here. Okay, you guys aren't really that bad, though. Just all your armor and stuff. Yeah, we got a level free land. Yay. Always glad for that. Now, feel free to drop something here. They might drop something uh, nice, but we'll see. That hurt. Eh, actually, that, that didn't hurt too bad, I guess. That was stupid and my fault. Fair enough. Eh, 
There you go. You're done. And let's start working on your armor there. Yeah, they definitely take more damage from the metal coated rounds. At least the armor part of them does, which makes sense because, you know, they're rock hard. Okay, we got part of your armor. I don't think we're going to get the rest off until somebody else gets their turn. Yeah. But you guys aren't that tough. I like it. I'd rather you didn't uh, jackhammer arm me, but you know, you do what you do, I, I do what I do, I guess. Scrap bronze, I was hoping for scrap zinc. Oh well. Let's go ahead and get your turn, since you kinda need to kill the armor and such. Okay. And Leanne should be able to not trip on the arm, I hope. I don't think tripping on the stuff that falls off is a concern. It's just the stuff that, you know, is still on them and, you know, big and bulky and whatnot. Okay, we're not fully killing you for some reason. I'm not sure why. We're missing part of your armor. I think now that they have, like, the side armor taken off, I think they'd be considered soft, or at least softer, and we'd be able to use hollow point rounds, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we got rid of one of your shields there. Or another one of your shields. Okay, apparently your other side of your shield just does not feel like dying today. At all. Okay, fine. Uh... Zephyr. And there we go. What'd you guys drop? You guys drop Scrapped Hammer SH2 and Unknown Material S, aka selling stuff. Okay, uh, Scrapped Hammer. What the heck is that for? Uh, Scrapped Hammer. Where are you at? Um, hang on a second, I'm not seeing it. Okay, so we need the scrap hammer SH2 for an expander barrel. An expendable handguard, or expandable handguard. Uh, high mount elite, special scope, no. Okay, we need it for the scrap tamer, SH, or. We need it for some stuff. It's not telling me what it dismantles into, though, so that's kind of odd. Eh, whatever. Either way, it doesn't seem like too terribly important, but either way, I'll take care of the rest of these guys and I'll be right back. And I'll probably pick up the other scopes off screen since I'll have enough uh, gold coins for them. Alright, that ring's done and our long scope elites are all finished. Uh, the guns still aren't fully pimped out because like I said, we're still missing a few components that we can't get yet, but they're doing it okay at the moment, so we're fine there. Anyways, let's do this and then we'll head off to that red hex and then we'll be done for the moment. Okay, skull. Um, Soldier Roche HG. All right, let's start with the dogs, I guess. And I guess you moved an eighth of an inch, so I guess it's your turn to go. You guys have decent armor, very decent armor, apparently. There we go. Got one of you, I think. I want to see if Zephyr can finish him off with a, a little bit of direct damage there, because he might have just enough HP left. No, he did not. I, was, I thought he might have enough HP left to survive. And apparently I did not destroy your armor at all. And they finally taught the dogs how to shoot guns instead of just slash swords at us. 
Actually, they might have shot guns at some point, I just don't know. Seriously, why are the dogs the best armored enemies? They got that massive freaking shield there. I mean, if we get lucky with the full scratch, it doesn't matter, but the odds of actually getting lucky with the full scratch are, what, 20 or 30 percent, depending on if we get a full charge or not. Let's see, you go ahead after the dog again, just to get him out of the way. Not quite. And they're doing plenty of damage to Vacheron, but it's not really that dangerous. They're kind of a pain in the ass, but nothing really major, I don't think. So not the easiest enemies, but certainly not the hardest, that's for sure. Oh, you got guns and a uh, saber, huh? Okay, you're not taking any damage, so I'm going to have to get your shield. Because, yeah, you're not taking any damage at all. Roche over there. He is also not taking very much in the way of damage. So, Vacheron, or Zephyr, or whatever your name is, let's get your turn, and... Yeah, let's start with that guy. Goodbye. Another level for the Stallion here. Come on, I'm gonna get your damn shield. There you go. Okay, you didn't actually target the rest of your shields, which kind of sucks, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, Leanne, I do want you to get more experience here. And by more, I mean actually damage the enemies. Yay, another level. Awesome. And... The crotch shot shot from the dog. That's just, uh, great there. And you guys have just enough HP that I can't kill you in one damn volume, or volley. There you go. You're dead. And uh, you, I might be stuck on your shield here, but we might be able to get through it. No. Okay. Yeah, you guys are very well armored, that's for sure. I don't have that good of armor. Mainly because they only let me equip, like, two accessories. Even then, they don't give me shields or anything like that. I wish I could run around a frickin' a shield and stuff like that. More blue energy axes. I was kind of hoping they'd slip up and give us the the last energy axes, the like orangish ones that we need to get into the top level on level one, but they're not doing that. So oh well. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these next couple ranks or fights, and then I'll meet you at the red hex that gave me trouble a few episodes ago, so I'll be right back. Okay, took care of the rest of those arena uh, battles there, and we're going to go ahead and try this uh, Red Hex again here, and hopefully do much better. I didn't bother connecting any terminals to it yet, because, well, I'm going to give it a shot first. Uh, we're going to go ahead and assume these guys are hard, and we're going to go with Metal Code Around Plus Pluses, and let's start on one of you guys over there. Okay, we get through your armor, but we're not actually getting through your your main body. Okay, so that's going to be a bit of a problem there. I think these guys will still do plenty of damage, though. Yeah, even with the defensive stuff. Ooh, these guys do give some uh, scrap stuff if we manage to get past their armor, or get their armor off. But I don't think it's really terribly worthwhile. Looks like we might just have to focus on one at a time here. That's going to be our big plan here. And yeah, they're definitely doing lots of damage, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. But we should be fine now, I think. 
If we get one down, we'll reduce a lot of the damage they're doing to us, and we should be okay. Yeah, there we go. So one's down. Uh, as long as they don't get rid of too many of my bezels right here, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, you. Okay, one's down. Perfect. Uh, Leanne, feel free to heal up there, man. Uh, let's go with a... Yeah, let's go with the multi-aid RS. That'd be perfect. Actually, that didn't do as much as I was hoping because we have a lot more HP now. Yeah, okay, Leanne, you're going to have to reheal yourself. Uh, now, stop burning to death and just heal yourself. Thank you. Damn it, Leanne! Okay, we're gonna try this again. This time, not, uh... We're gonna try something different here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see. Let's try toxic grenades on these guys. I wanna, I, I wanna see if we can poison them. If there is a terminal nearby that says... Ups, poison damage. And I was thinking about activating that and trying this, but I wasn't sure yet if poison damage actually is effective on these guys or not. That's the problem. Uh, okay, EXs. If it is, that'd be great. Uh, let's go ahead on those guys over there since it gives us more time to get a nice charge going. Oh yeah, that goes really fast after a while. That does a lot of damage. I think I said maybe the grenade being strong, but still. That did lots of damage to you. And it took out a good chunk of your... Um, your armor as well, that's nice. I'm curious if these guys are also weak to potential. Dang it, you have just enough armor left to. Damn it. You have just enough armor left to be irritating. I'm curious if these guys are actually weak to poison or burning as well, because they are kind of like, uh, maybe not wooden or anything, but you know, they are. What's the word I'm looking for? Like plastic, and plastic seems like it should burn. Reasonably well. Well, I got rid of your armor really fast, that's for sure. Okay, they are susceptible to being burned, so that's good to know. That's actually really good news. Um, let's go ahead and. Molotov cocktail plus pluses. Not as fast as the EXs, but I think it'll be. Good enough, I, th I hope. I don't know if that actually did damage to your... No, I don't think it did, did damage to your actual health there. Yeah, these guys are still a royal pain in the ass. And I think, again, it just has a lot to do with the starting position. Um, hmm. Let's try oil rounds. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over the frickin' fence here and see if... Being on the other side of the fence helps me out at all. You're not being oiled. That's not good. Yeah, you're not getting oiled at all. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so you just go ahead and... I'd like to just try to get rid of your armor, but it's just not working out. Yeah, unfortunately, the armor-reducing properties of the machine handguns aren't really all that great for just generic how'd you get way the fuck over there uh armors unfortunately yeah this isn't gonna work okay we're gonna have to retry this again yeah there's a lot of these guys and they have yeah there's like what five of these little fuckers um let's try the freezer grenade pluses because we did a pretty good job last time, I think, of uh, freezing them. I was hoping you guys wouldn't, you know, get out of the way. Yeah, if we can freeze them, and that, that reduces their their damage per turn, so that's really nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, one of them is frozen, at least. You know, screw it. I'm going to go for the old cheapo here, armor-piercing rounds, since I thought I was prepared, since we gained, like, 20 levels, but apparently, not so much. Screw it. You're dying. Goodbye. 
Yeah, that works. Okay. They gave them to us for a reason. I'm using them. Uh, Zephyr... Uh, try to work on this guy for the moment, Leanne. Because you're not going to be able to do a whole lot through their shields, unfortunately. Yeah, at least get their shields started for later tearing through. Yeah, these guys just do a lot of damage. They have a lot of armor. They're a royal pin in the ass. If this was a required story mission, I would be mildly upset. Uh, yeah, we get it. Nothing is your type of weapon. You just want to be Mr. Special Angry Snowflake. Good for you. Kill him. Do you go through his armor? How? Is that guy just determined to not die? He was determined to not take any freaking damage there. That was ridiculous. Uh, let me get my turn. Thanks. As long as we can kill at least one of you. There we go. And go for this. This might hit the guys behind him. I think it hit somebody behind him at least. Uh, lots of damage. And let's not die. And yeah, you might just need a heal because, yeah, we're kind of dying here. Okay, good. We healed ourselves. Unfortunately, the heal takes uh, a bit longer than I would care for, and it manages to actually take damage before you get healed. Okay, get rid of that guy's shield. There you go. Kill him. I hate these fucking arenas. I really do. Okay, let's do it. Mow your asses down, I hope. Okay, we should be able to actually kill all but like one of these guys now. Uh, Leanne, you're gonna lose like all my freaking H, all my bezels. I' not happy about that. Bye. Fucking healing item. How about you actually be useful? I like how status effects on us last for oh, I don't know fucking forever, whereas on enemies, they barely even feel them. Kill him. What's the point of scratching his entire body if we can't get through any of his freaking armor to actually do damage? This is the cheapest fucking hex, like ever. And actually, arm piercing rounds are much more expensive than I realized with. 999 bronze coins and 999 uh, silver coins. Because they cost 50 copper or bronze or whatever it is, uh, it ends up taking uh, all the all the copper coins and only like 95. Uh, what is it? Silver, and it only comes out to. 20 armor piercing rounds per 100 copper coins pretty much so basically you've got to sit there and farm copper coins Every, the silver coins you have more than enough but it takes forever to get all the damn copper coins because the highest amount you can get of copper or silver and kill this motherfucker is 40 at a time so that's just a lot that you have to go through really and it kind of sucks um I'm going to go back to the regular stuff because I don't want to waste that last little bit of armor piercing rounds here. We should be fine. Come on, you guys have like no HP left, but apparently your armor is just impeccable. He's recovering that last little bit of scratch damage real quick. Uh, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Yes, fucking Leanne. Why, do, why are you always the one that takes all my damage? Ok, 
Okay, leave Leanne alone for 10 fucking seconds so we can try to fucking... They better not have... They better not have absor absorbed all the freaking shards for themselves. Okay, finally! Jeez! Kill him. Or at least get his health. Jeez, there we go. Man, stop burning to fucking death, please. I don't ask for a whole fucking lot. I really don't. You little bastardizing whorebag. Okay, we need to get rid of their shields, because that's what's causing all the damage here. Fucking Leanne! Sit in there checking your fucking dress. Okay, good. We got something back at least. And he's full up. He's healed up to fucking full. Leanne, you pile of fucking shit. Okay, one more fucking shot on these little bastards, because apparently these guys are fucking invincible. I don't know fucking why. Okay, I don't know... That got one of them. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hope that my grenade actually damages these guys instead of not. Did that get rid of any of your shield? Uh, probably not. It did not. Okay, I think that's actually hitting every all those guys, though, so that's nice right there. Jeez, these guys fucking suck. If the final boss is half as hard as these fuckers, well, I'll die a lot, that's for sure. Okay, you're still, you know, get to, get to his turn, and you know what, I'm going to try to actually get past your shields, because your shields are fucking bullshit. I thought I was going to have a much easier time here with this, but apparently not. Fuck it. I give up. See you guys later. Have a good night. Fuck you, you piece of shit little cappuccino motherfuckers.